The shattered pellet injector is designed to make a large pellet of frozen deuterium, neon, or argon, about half inch in size, shoot it with a gas gun into the plasma when it becomes unstable, and shatter the material just before it goes into the plasma in order to dissipate all the thermal energy in the plasma very, very quickly. Testing the shattered pellet injector on, on JET will benefit ITER in, in two ways. From the physics point of view, it will enable us to extrapolate how the thermal energy is dissipated from a very large energetic plasma and help us to better extrapolate that to uh, ITER so we'll know how many pellets and what size pellet will be most beneficial for ITER. But it's also giving us some very good experience in installing a shattered pellet system in a more reactor-like environment here at JET than what we have in our D3D experiment in the U.S. and also gives the operators here some experience in operating such a system that will greatly benefit the operators in, in the future on ITER. The main challenges in installing the SVI onto the JET machine is firstly we had to remove three existing systems and then install a large amount of equipment on top of the jet machine and also on the surrounding structures. But one of the most enjoyable uh, parts of the project was the international collaboration aspect, uh, such as working with Oak Ridge Laboratory in the States and also our colleagues from its organisation. What we hope to learn uh, from the shattered pellet experiments is how efficient it is at uh, mitigating the consequences of these abrupt plasma terminations, so the, the disruptions. There are three kinds of consequences of disruptions. One of them is in uh, electromagnetic forces, the other one is about thermal loads on the plasma fissing components, and the third one being uh, what we call runaway electrons. Every set of experiments at JET you know, using the shattered pellet aims at addressing one of those consequences and ass assessing how efficient uh, the shattered pellet injection is at mitigating those. Seeing the first shards entering the plasma and creating those nice uh, light structures uh, in the plasma, it was really, really exciting. Uh, it's really great to see the, the system work, works properly. It's pretty apparent already that we're getting good results that will be helpful in extrapolating from ITER. We need several more run days to help finish some scans to be able to uh, better extrapolate to ITER, but we're definitely making good progress in the right direction.